Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here then welcome on in. If you would be so kind and hit that sub button it would really mean the world to me. So yesterday we finally got the patch notes for the brand new update that is coming tomorrow and I cannot wait. It is called Thrills and Frills for update 10 and then we are getting the Act 2 for Eternity Isles as well on the same day. So it's going to be huge and I cannot wait. So let's have a look at the patch notes. Now I have already had a little read through and some of the things have got me excited for the future of Disney Dreamlight Valley. So it does say, hey Valley Villagers, it's time to kick off an exciting week for Disney Dreamlight Valley with our seasonal dose of patch notes. Not only is there a free content update on its way for Disney Dreamlight Valley, but Act 2 of Disney Dreamlight Valley, a Rift in Time expansion pass available to all expansion pass owners will also be arriving this week. We have a lot in store for you, including a new building that's sure to breathe new creative life into the valley, new ways to interact with friends during valley visits, even more Disney park magic and much more. As with previous updates, we also have a wide range of bug fixes and optimizations to share with you as well. Now, one of the optimizations is just amazing and I will go through that in this video because, oh my god, it's to do with the camera, guys. If you know, you know. Now, get those Touch of Magic designs ready. Disney Dreamlock Valley's Thrills and Frills updates arise May First, which is tomorrow and I can't wait I really can't wait for this update honestly I wasn't expecting it to be this big when they first announced it and it said early spring update and late spring update I thought that the two spring ones were just going to be two little updates but it's not like that at all so welcome another feather friend to the valley it's Daisy Duck I mean we kind of knew that complete new friendship quests and help this style icon rekindle her past relationship as you unlock unique items. Oh, I can't wait for Donald to see her. Oh my God, it's going to be so cool. Help Daisy open the boutique, a new building dedicated to sharing your personal styles with friends, display and share custom touch of magic designs, both clothing and furniture during valley visits. Looking for another way to flex those creative muscles, drop in to the boutique each day to help Daisy redecorate a corner of the shop or take on her inspiration prompts to earn exclusive items, including new touch of magic clothing and furniture bases, which is going to be so cool. I've really got to work on my touch of magic skills because at the moment I have zero skills. Another thing coming with this update, it says, please keep your arms and legs inside the attractions at all times. Ride many of the Disney Park attractions available in the Valley. Now, the one that a couple of you guys had questions in one of my videos is, is the Ferris wheel going to be rideable? I'm thinking it's not going to be a rideable ride, but I'm hoping it is. It would be so cool to kind of get a, a higher up picture of your, of your park. It would be so cool, but I guess we're going to have to wait until tomorrow for that one. You can also take photos on many of the rides as well. Villagers will now send you mail and sometimes even gifts on occasion, giving you a great reason to check your mailbox regularly. So now we are going to be able to get mail from our villagers. Another thing is it's selfie time. All players can now use a photo mode during valley visits. Now I am a little bit on the fence about this one because in the trailer it does show that the friends aren't posing. So I'm really, really hoping that when taking pictures with your friends, your friends can actually smile and pose and not just stand there. But I guess we're going to have to wait and see tomorrow. That is one thing I am going to check tomorrow as soon as the update drops. I will be live over on Twitch doing the update live if you would like to come over. My Twitch channel is in the description down below. Now they have said it's not just a camera. Many of the activities you're used to doing solo are now possible with friends. So now friends can able to fish, garden, mining, cooking, crafting, all of the good stuff. You can also time bend together. So we can actually go treasure hunting together and find all of those exclusive items, which will be amazing. I can't wait to do those kind of things with my friends. Now, this is the one that I am excited for because it really, really helped doing dream snaps. Okay. 
So in the last update, they implemented the changes to the furniture mode camera and kind of increased like the performance stability of it. Now, they did know that we weren't happy with some of the changes to the camera. Now, what they have done is they have turned the old camera back on. So now we can get those low angles when we're doing our dream snaps and everything like that, which is amazing. I, I really missed that feature because it really helped me kind of get an eye for what's in my dream snap without actually having to go into the camera mode. I am really happy that they have reverted to the old camera functionality, which is awesome. I'm really happy about that one. There is also more optional items coming to the premium shop. For a limited time as well as some returning favorites from the star path so during this new star path which is a day at disney we are going to be introduced to some more rides but the rides that came with the last star path the last um disney parks one these ones are coming in the star path this season so if you dis did miss out on this beautiful ferris wheel and the cups and saucers and all of that good stuff they are coming to the premium shop you're going to have another chance to grab those items. Now, another thing that is coming with this update, which is amazing, is the fact that we can preview clothes on our avatar before even purchasing them. So we can have a look, see what they look like. If we like them on our avatar, then we can go ahead and purchase them. If not, we can just put them back on the rack and uh, shop somewhere else, maybe. I think that's really, really cool. Now, we also can get a better look at special animations and items may have thanks to the revolving preview display i think that's referring to you know how at the moment we go to the premium shop and we can have like a bigger picture of what it looks like now we can have like a little bit of a better display um and maybe see all of the animations with that as well we can also toggle between a day and night to see what the item actually looks like and to get a better idea of how it will look like day and night which i think is amazing i honestly cannot wait for update 10 and it is arriving tomorrow so literally just over 24 hours and it will be in our games and i am super excited now let's go on to have a look at the patch notes for the expansion pass so this is if you own a rift in time so if you do own a Rift in Time, Act 2 is coming tomorrow also, and we will be welcoming a lovely, lucky new pal, which is Oswald. We called it. I'm super excited to have a look at what Oswald brings. We've seen his house. It looks amazing. We've seen a couple of items that is coming with Oswald as well, and it's all black and white. And we've also got three new companions coming as well with Oswald for the Rift in Time expansion pass as well which I'm super, super excited for. I can't wait. So A Rift in Time uh, Act 2 is called A Spark of Imagination. Obviously, we've had a lot of mist over the last couple of months because we've, had, we've bought everything and it's just like piling up. Well, now we can use that hard-earned mist to upgrade our hourglass to level 4 which is going to unlock new ancient parts to collect, new furniture items to craft at the time-bending station, new fragments, and their associated furniture items inspired by iconic Disney and Pixar stories to craft, including Disney and Pixar's Ratatouille's Metro Entrance, which is so cool. I can't wait to make all of these items. Now, this one has me excited. Do you remember at the beginning of the video, I said there is something within these patch notes that has me excited for the future of Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now, this is the one. So take control of the new dismantle and upcycle feature at the time bending station to repurpose old ancient parts, fragments, gifts and ancient cores into currency you can spend to craft other items within these categories. Now, this is locked to the expansion pass at the moment. So at the moment, if you just have the base game, there is no function to dismantle and upcycle past items. But with this being in the game tomorrow with the expansion pass, I have so much hope that an actual recycling machine with, that is linked to Wally -E will come to the base game so that we can dismantle things that we have crafted and get our items back so get like the the stone back the wood back 
and things like that. So I have every hope that this is the beginning of a kind of like a dismantle and upcycle feature. But at the moment, this is locked to the expansion pass and I cannot wait to see this feature tomorrow. So it does say take control of new dismantle and upcycle feature at the time bending station. I can't wait. This is so cool, guys. Honestly, I'm so happy with this update so far. Also, they have updated ScrambleCoin if you play ScrambleCoin. I don't play it. I just, it's not for me. They have added some more figurines that offer new powers and strategies to master, including Mike Brzezowski and, of course, Oswald. Now, amongst all of this patch notes, we do have the top changes and bug fixes. I won't go through them in this video, but what I will do is I will leave a link to the patch notes in the description down below so you can check out if any of the quests that you've been stuck on have been fixed. But that is everything in the patch notes, guys. What do you think about it so far? Are you excited for tomorrow? Let me know in the comments down below. And I want to know what are you excited for the most? For me, I'm excited for Daisy. I just think she's absolutely adorable. But I'm also excited to check out the new multiplayer features and also check out Oswald in the expansion pass because Oswald is an OG and I love him. But that is it for this video, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you all in my next video. Have the most wonderful rest of your day, guys.